day three up on our trip here to England in the barn hunt. Uh, day one was pretty good, just a half a day. Day two was really good. Got that hammered and those 10 coppers, uh, or I don't know how many coppers, eight coppers. Today we're out on a new location where there's been 21 gold staters that have been found, a bunch of hammers. And so we're out on the field right now. We've got Nugget Noggin down there. Got some more guys all behind us. And uh, so as soon as we find something, I'm going for the gold coin to beat my last trip and the hordes that I found. I've got to get a gold coin or a BC Roman coin. That's what I'm going for. And so um, beautiful field is green and uh, uh, easy walking, just a little wet and muddy, but other than that, it's good. So let's get the swing and let's see what we can come up with. And hopefully we're going to find that gold stator. All right, let's go have some fun. Well, let's get in a, a, like a 10 to 11 over here, here on Equinox. And I can see I just, it's just on the, underneath the surface. I don't know what this is going to be. It's got some fancy design. Let me uh, get the uh, holy water out and uh, let me see what that's going to be time for some holy water looks like it's going to be some type of a piece of jewelry silver wash on it nothing on the back that's ah, my first find out here the, few, the finds are few from far between i think somebody they all gathered up over here and i'm fixing to head that way and find out i think there may be a gold cedar been found. Anyway, I'll take this. Let's keep on going. Maybe we'll get us a gold coin too. I was getting an 18 to a 19, solid 19 actually, and it's only about uh, two inches deep. Check this out. I think it may be hammered. I'm not sure yet. I haven't even plucked it out. I just flipped it over. Definitely feels hammered. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be silver. I think it's going to be copper. It's going to be a copper coin. Let me get my other camera. We'll clean it up and get the other camera and get a close-up. I'm not sure. It may be a King William III. I think it says 1760s. That could be KG2. Anyway, there's Britannia. Now she's on the back. The date's really hard. I need to clean it up more. But uh, kind of hard to get a bust. I think it's like that right there. That looks like a King William III. Um, not certain on that. All right, we'll keep on going. One gold Celtic coin's already been found, and I'm in the hunt for that one. So let's get after it. Well, let's get a solid 23. That's indicative of a large copper. And there it is. It's so wet and muddy out here, it's hard to even kind of get details on this thing. This looks like maybe, it feels like a King George III. It's kind of a little bit thicker, and I can't really tell. We'll clean it up later on, and see what that is a little bust right there see I'm wiping on my pants and see if I can get anything yeah it's just gonna be too muddy right now all right we'll keep on going could be a kg2 but it feels like a kg3 but I have no clue, to be honest with you. Let me clean it up and let's see. If it's something good, I'll come back to you. If it's not, I'll uh, just move on. It's going to be a KG2. Can you see the uh, bust facing to the left? It's a little wet. Uh, it's raining right now. But yes, KG2, I don't know the date on it. Uh, we'll have to see what the date is later on. All right, let's keep moving on. That's better than a KG3. Let's get a hammer. Let's get a gold. Yeah. Well, I got a surface find. I just popped it up. It's just, uh, I really believe it's going to be a hammered silver. I see the silver underneath the crust and I see a little writing right in there but it's too toasty and it looks hammered just not sure I have to get home tonight clean that up and uh, I'll let you know get you guys know in the wrap up that may be a hammered silver right there all right let's keep going well I just got that hammered right over there and just swung right here and it's right on top of the ground again it's going to be a copper. Oh, it's just too muddy out here and wet. Let's see if I can wipe it off of my pants and get an idea. I'm wiping some of the patina off. Uh, I can't. I can't really tell. It's pretty thin. That's a good sign. It's going to be a KG2 or older King William. I can't hold it. It is so wet and muddy out here, folks. 
I'll just have to show these up in the wrap up. I just there's nothing I can do. It's just all muddy. All right, I'll take that. That's a that's a good one. All right, let's keep going. Just hunting these bricks right here. There's a bunch of bricks just laid out on the top of the ground and got another copper. Looks like a half penny. I can't uh, tell it date on it. Uh, definitely see a little bit of a bust there. Uh, I'm really not sure which one that is. Uh, it's pretty to pretty toasted. I might get some definition later on. All right, let's keep on going. Looking for that silver, looking for that gold. Well, it's been a while since I got a last target. I have walked, I'm in my third field, two fields over. It's just not a lot out here today. We got two, two of our team uh, got uh, two uh, gold coins, Celtic to coins, uh, uh, gold staters. And uh, other than that, it's been really quiet. There hasn't really been a whole lot. Plugmaster Ford's right over there. Relic Rangers are right back, right back over there somewhere, Relic Rangers. And uh, I decided to come over here and hunt this other field near this barn over here. And uh, got my first target. It's a small, small copper. I doubt I get any definition off of this thing. It's just so muddy. Let's see if I can just rub it on my pants and see if I can get something off of it. No. It's just too wet and muddy out here in the field today to try to get anything clean to get a get something off of it. Just got to show this in the wrap up. There's definitely something there. I can barely see it. Let's just rub it just a little bit more. Yeah, it looks like a bus to the left. So this could be a KG2. Yeah. It's hard to see, but it's a bus to the left. It's a KG2. I don't know what this is. Or it could be a farthing. I'm not sure. It's pretty small. I can't see anything now. We'll have to clean it up later on. See what this is. Looks like a KG2, though. All right, let's keep going. Oh, the finds are just a few and far between. My back is killing me. And I'm just trying to take a break right now. I mean, I found a lot of stuff, but nothing really, you know, coppers and... I kind of understand now. I've always been told, you know, Englanders that those 1,600 coppers away. And I can understand that, even though I still like to dig them, you know, because in the States, us digging anything at 1,600 is going to be good. But digging coppers over here is like digging wheat pennies back in the States. And uh, you just dig so many of them. And I've uh, got my fair share of them. I just got a signal here uh, ringing up like a 10. Usually that's like a small tomback button. Let me turn you around here and that's what exactly what it is it's a uh, let's see right there well and those those things come out of the ground they they fool you almost like a silver coin and uh but you can see the shank is broken on the back i've done quite a few buttons let me show you i just haven't been recording any of them there's a plastic button that i eyeballed but i've got a, a dome button and uh, another dome button there. I've got a big, like a big dandy button. Got a piece of jewelry as well. A little silver wash on it. And then just a lot of, a uh, lot of uh, flat buttons. Just a whole lot of them. And so yeah, we've dug quite a bit. I've got a couple of bell seals. Some other mystery item. And then I do have a, a modern coin, possible, possible hammered. And then just, here's all the coppers. One, two, let's put that over there. Three, four, five, six coppers today. I got 10 yesterday, I think. And uh, so, yeah, got to clean them up and see. That's a King George for sure there. Let's clean them up later on and see what exactly what they are. But no hammers. Nobody's gotten a hammer today. And uh, we got two gold coins. But no silvers. Uh, one silver, but no hammers. So I'm working myself back down to the van. And I'm going to call it a day. At least I'm going to sit down and rest for an hour or two. My back is out. 
it's just a lot of walking and, and just not enough digging to really give you back a break. So I'm going to work myself down there, take a little break. If I find anything, I'll definitely turn the camera on and show you guys. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, let's go have some more fun. If I don't die first, let's go. Well, we're out here on day four. Day three is in the books. Day four starting. We're on a new location out here. You can see a big field. Well, actually, we're just on another spot just down from where we were yesterday. We've got the whole group with us here. And uh, so hopefully it's going to be a good day. Uh, yesterday was not good for the whole team as a whole, but two guys found three coins and one guy found two go coins. Three go coins and one guy found two go coins. Can you imagine that? And uh, I don't know who this big tall guy is behind me here, but uh, he's he's encroaching. He wants he wants some of the blessing what he wants. Anyway, let's get out in the field. Let's have some fun. Well, I've been out here about 30 minutes. My first good target I'm getting the sun is a broken button i just thought i'll show you the first target i'm not going to show you all my buttons i'll show you a button wrap up at the end uh today uh, most of all these buttons are just plain buttons nothing fancy to see uh all from the 1700s 1800s but uh show you the first one and i'll show you the wrap up at the end all right let's keep swinging for that gold and silver hammered got my first good high tone here 21 solid 21 solid. Let's uh, let's dig this together and we'll see what this is. Hopefully it's a gold coin. They've been ringing up. Some of those Celtic ones have been ringing up. Like uh, on a 21 on the uh, Equinox. Sorry about that. Trying to, hard to keep the shot in focus in frame. And try to dig with one hand. And detect with one hand. Let's uh, see if we got it out of the hole yet. No, it's going to be right over there. Let's go in the side wall here. Let's bring it up. Still down in the hole. There it is right there. It's gonna be a copper. I don't know what kind of copper it's gonna be. It's just so muddy out here today. Let me see if I can clean it up and uh, let's see what this is gonna be. Now you can kind of see the bust right there. Looking to the right. I believe it's gonna be a King William III. It's gonna be 1600s. Um, early to mid 1600s I believe I don't know my English coins as well as I should I'm learning them though each trip I come over all right let's uh let's keep going well I think my microphone just went out hopefully the wind's not too bad I'm gonna hunch up here where you can't really see uh, hear it blowing but this is gonna be a in, ended up being a King George the third best I can tell it's pretty thick I see Britannia on the back it's gonna be 1795 to 1816 somewhere around there uh, pretty toasted like all of them but uh, there he is he's looking off to the right you can see a little crown a royal a little reef on his head all right getting the sun where you can see it look but there we go all right let's keep on going I was getting a very high tone here about six inches deep I thought it was gonna be a big silver it's gonna be a big copper though uh, 29 to 30 is huge uh, it's just a regular old copper. I thought it was going to be a cartwheel penny or something ringing up that high. But, uh, yeah, probably going to be a KG3, the way it feels. A lot of, uh, a lot of mud out here still. Uh, let me wipe it on my pants and see if we can get anything. Wipe a lot of the patina off, but these things are so wiped anyway, it doesn't matter. Yep, I can't tell. Just another big greenie. All right, let's keep on going. Getting a 19 to 20 signal here. I just dug it up and I went ahead and cleaned it because it, it's a two-piece button. 
but uh, you can't really see. Let me wipe it off. I just got water on it. But it's definitely got, I can't even hold this stuff. Ah, you can't really see it right now. But it's got a shield on it. And uh, it's got some design. I'll try to get it cleaned up later on. And uh, oh, I'll tell you what, let me let me uh, get my uh, other camera. We'll get a close-up on this. You can see it's got some type of design on it. It's kind of wet right now. You can't really tell. But it's got a shield. And it's going to take a little bit more cleaning up to get it really coming through. But yeah, it's going to be a, some I hope it's going to be a, some type of English military button. All right, let's keep on going. Now let's get a 23, 24, just underneath the surface about one inch. It's gonna be another hammered. I'll tell you what, I mean not a hammered, but another copper. Well, we dig a bunch of these. Nugget Noggin's got a hammer today, and that's about it. Nobody else has got gold or silver. This is all toasty. I probably won't get any identification off of this one either. Let's see, rub it on my pants and see if we get anything. Nah, it's going to probably be a KG2. It could be a KG3. All right, we'll just keep on going. Let's get a 23-24 here. And it's going to be another copper. Looks like it's going to be toasted. Not going to get any markings off of this one. So we'll just move on. We'll dig a bunch of these out here. All right, let's keep on going. Well, it's not old, 1909. But it's silver. I'll take it. It's been a while since my last target, and it's been all day since silver. It's a nice looking coin. 1909, sixpence. All right. Put it in the sun, maybe you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Can you guys see me? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's recording. It kind of looks like the Blair Witch Project. Welcome to Preacher Digger's channel. You know what happens when Preacher Digger leaves his video camera at the restaurant? What happens now? Hogmaster 4 takes over. We got you, boy. We got you. Sabotage! <laughs> sabotage! It was Virginia's idea, though. Oh, it's dark in here. Hey. Turn on some lights. There you go. Hello. That's Virginia. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. Watch your camera, don't we? Missouri Mike. Don't turn on the light. It's better this way. Ta-ta for now.